Hi, it's Katrina. From an eyeless monster to a living fossil, here are 10 of the most bizarre creatures ever caught. Number 10. Giant Talking Catfish Native to the Amazon River Basin, the giant talking catfish, also called the giant Raphael catfish, is typically found in tributaries, creeks, and swamps. Its unique black and yellow color pattern makes it stand out a lot compared to other types of catfish, and almost doesn't even look real. It's maybe not the most beautiful fish species on Earth, but it's pretty bizarre. Why are they called the talking catfish, you ask? Good question! It's because they can produce sounds by locking their spiny pectoral fins into their sockets, grinding them against the inner portion of the socket, and resonating their swim bladder using a muscle in the back of their skull to produce a deep clicking sound. Pretty cool, huh? Giant talking catfish are slow growing, typically reaching up to 2 feet long and weighing as much as 10 pounds by adulthood. The largest known recorded specimens found in the Amazon, Essequibo and Tocantins river systems, were as much as 28 inches long. Their coloring makes them very popular in the aquarium trade, and they will eat pretty much everything. Despite their size, giant talking catfish can be described as gentle giants. They tend to ignore other fish and go about their business, feeding mainly on crustaceans. These bottom dwellers are also heavily armored, which protects them from aggressive species. So if you are in the Amazon and catch this yellow and black beast, don't worry, it's actually a catfish. There are much scarier things to look out for. Number 9. Alien Sea Beast While fishing in Krabi province in southern Thailand late last year, 41-year-old Desha Srichai captured a creepy creature with 20 long, jet-black legs, causing him to throw his net in horror. At first glance, he thought the specimen was a twig, but when he saw it moving, he panicked. Having never seen anything like it before, Desha told the press that he was so disgusted he considered burning the alien-like creature, but he took his phone out and filmed it instead, in the hopes of receiving help identifying it. Jeez, calm down, right? Why would you just see something and then burn it? What the heck? After the initial shock wore off, Desha rethought his initial urge to kill the strange life form and used a stick to push it back into the river from a safe distance. His friends told him that it was most likely a black feather star, a bottom-dwelling marine species that can regrow severed tentacles much like its relatives from the crinoid group of animals that includes sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Unlike many of its relatives, the black feather star does not have a stalk connecting it to the sea floor. Despite its terrifying appearance, it's rather harmless to humans, feeding mostly on plankton. All of those weird appendages and feathers help it catch its food. But this apparently didn't matter to Daisha, who said that he hopes he never catches one again. Number 8. Long-Nosed Chimera Gary Goodyear, a Newfoundland and Labrador-based fisherman, was utterly shocked last year when his crew caught a specimen he didn't recognize while fishing for turbot in Bonavista Bay. Hailed up in the boat's trawler net from over 2,600 feet below the water's surface, the nearly one-meter dead fish had a rubber-like nose and wing-like appendages, according to Goodyear, who spoke with CBC about the strangest catch of his career. The perplexed angler posted photos of the creature on Facebook in hopes that someone could identify it and ultimately determined that it was likely a long-nosed chimera. Related to sharks, rays, and skates, there are eight known species of chimera. These ancient cartilaginous deep-dwelling fish are typically found between 200 and 1,000 meters underwater and are rarely seen or caught by humans. Long-nosed chimeras have a long, pointy snout and neon green eyes, giving them a monstrous appearance, according to Carolyn Meary, a marine biologist with the Newfoundland and Labrador Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Goodyear was also glad that nothing bad happened to him or his crew while they handled the fish. Unaware that the species has a venomous spine, nobody thought twice about touching it with their bare hands. Mary explained that the fish Goodyear accidentally captured likely died while being hauled to the surface due to pressure changes in the water, and agreed that Goodyear and his crew were lucky the fish was dead, because it could have caused serious injury by flailing around had it been alive. Number 7. Real Live Sea Monster After spending 45 minutes wrestling with his fishing line earlier this year, 
Fisherman Nate Isaac reeled in what social media users described as a real-life sea monster while fishing in the Bering Sea off Alaska's Akutan Island. With a gaping mouth and a gigantic jaw equipped with razor-sharp teeth, the enormous prehistoric-looking creature indeed looked like something from someone's worst nightmare, or perhaps even another planet. While the sight of the creepy specimen was a first for many, Isaac told Lad Bible that he had seen it before. Knowing from past experience that they bite very hard, he and his crew were extremely cautious in their handling of it. Photos he posted on social media show that the demonic-looking fish measured around half his height. Identified as a wolf eel, the species can actually grow much larger than the one Isaac caught, reaching up to 7 feet long and weighing as much as 41 pounds. These homely creatures lurk throughout the North Pacific, where they use their powerful jaws to crush prey and mate for life in monogamous pairs. Isaac releases everything he catches back into the water, and the real-life sea monster was no exception. Do you enjoy going fishing? Have you ever found a strange animal in the water? Let me know in the comments below! And I want to give a big shout out to Grayson N and Brandon Gordon. Thanks so much for spending time with us and for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join us, because why not? Number 6. Fish with Human Teeth While fishing off the Melbourne, Florida coast earlier this year, Fisherman Paul Lohr caught a strange-looking specimen bearing a zebra-like design and equipped with eerily humanoid teeth arranged in rows of two or three. The 33-year-old angler described the creature's body as like a snapper-type fish, very compact but meaty. He also mentioned that it had a very strong bite power, not enough to take a finger but enough to make you never go near the teeth again. Despite its unusual appearance, the fish is not rare. Known as a sheep's head fish, it's often found off the Gulf and Atlantic coasts in the United States, but is common throughout North America, including as far north as Cape Cod and Massachusetts. The species inspired the name of the Sheep's Head Bay neighborhood in Brooklyn, where it once populated the waters off the eastern coast of Coney Island. The Sheep's Head fish feeds mainly on crustaceans, using its teeth to crush barnacles, clamshells, and crab shells. Laura explained that its gills act like a filter, expelling shell fragments that the creature consumes. He added that the species' diet gives its meat a crab-like taste, earning it the nickname the poor man's crab in his area. The sheep's head fish grows to around 30 inches long, but even smaller specimens are incredibly strong. As soon as one gets hooked on a fishing line, they swim sideways with a lot of force, making them difficult to reel in. Number 5. Lobster-Shrimp Hybrid During what was meant to be an ordinary fishing trip in Fort Pierce, Florida, Fisherman Steve Bargeron looked on in shock and amusement as a nearby couple reeled in what he described as an alien creature that looked like an oversized cross between a lobster and a shrimp. He snapped a few photos of the flailing animal before the couple, who had no interest in keeping the creature, tossed it back into the water. Bargeron passed the pictures on to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, which posted the images on its Facebook page. Ray Caldwell, a professor of integrative biology at the University of California, Berkeley, instantly identified the critter as a mantis shrimp. Also known as a stomatopod, the creature is actually rather common in Floridian waters. People just don't see them very often because they rarely emerge from their burrows on the sea floor, making the catch unique in its own right. Speaking with Live Science, Caldwell explained that the species is equipped with prominent claws that it uses to stab or mash its prey, depending on the species. Mantis shrimp can live for up to 30 years and grow up to a foot long. Bargeron claimed that the specimen he witnessed was around 18 inches long, but admitted that he did not measure it. Caldwell said that this was unlikely, but that it was entirely possible that the creature looked much bigger in the pictures, or because its claws were extended. Number 4. Mutant Shark After accidentally capturing a pregnant female shark in their trawler net off the Indonesian coast earlier this year, Fisherman Abdullah Nurin and his brother cut her open and received the shock of a lifetime. Two of the unborn pups appeared normal, but the third had eerily human-like facial features and large, round, cartoonish eyes. The deformed shark pup likely had a congenital defect called cyclopia, according to marine conservation biologist Dr. David Schiffman, who cautioned against googling the condition while eating. Just a heads up. He explained in a Twitter post that cyclopia occurs when both of a creature's eyes are fused to one orbit. Caught near the East Nusa Tenggara province, the mutant shark attracted a throng of curious visitors, including Nuren's neighbors, 
who reportedly offered to buy the specimen from him. Instead, he kept it for himself with plans to preserve it as a good luck charm. Number 3. Eyeless Monster Australia has no shortage of bizarre wildlife, but every now and then a species stands out as even stranger than the rest. This was certainly the case in early 2019, when a group of anglers witnessed the capture of a nightmarish eyeless specimen with razor-sharp teeth in the secluded Mary River near Kakadu National Park in Australia's Northern Territory. T. Hoken, who reeled in the freaky fish, described the six-inch-long creature as purpley brown with a really weird head in an interview with ABC Australia, adding that it reminded her of the 1979 horror movie Alien, during which a hideous monstrosity comes out of actress Sigourney Weaver's stomach. Adding to the strangeness of the situation, the fish reportedly didn't move at all while being handled. It was probably in shock. As it turned out, the creature was not an alien, but a member of a group called eel gobies, or worm gobies. Speaking with the Daily Mail, fish identification expert Morgan Grant explained that there are several species present in Australia's brackish and freshwater estuaries, and that they have poorly developed eyes that are often covered in skin, because eyesight is essentially useless in the murky waters. This forces the marine animals to rely primarily on their sense of touch to catch prey. He added that the fish have extremely sharp and powerful teeth to make up for what they lack in eyesight. Number 2. Translucent Shrimp-Like Blob While fishing with his two sons over 40 miles off the Kari Kari Peninsula of New Zealand's North Island in 2014, Stuart Fraser spotted a translucent shrimp-like creature floating near the water's surface. Curious as to what it was, he grabbed hold of it and posed for a few pictures to show his fishermen friends. The specimen was completely see-through, minus a small orange blob inside its body. Fraser described it as scaly but firm and jelly-like to the touch. Nobody he knew was able to identify it, leaving everyone baffled. Mail Online got to the bottom of the mystery with the help of staff members at the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth, UK, who identified the creature as a salpa majore. Salps somewhat resemble jellyfish, but are more closely related to vertebrates, according to National Marine Aquarium director Paul Cox. They have gills and a heart, and their bodies are encased in a sac-like structure with two openings, one on each end, that water pumps through, propelling the creatures through the water. Meanwhile, filters passively collect nutrients from algae and phytoplankton. Little is known about these bizarre animals, which are found mainly throughout the Southern Ocean, travel in large chains, and grow up to 10 inches long. Salps are unique because they function individually and as part of a larger organism. They have no defense against predators, proving that power doesn't always come in numbers, and their clear appearance serves as a form of camouflage that helps them to avoid becoming another animal's next meal. Number 1. Living Fossil Back in 2007, Indonesian fisherman Justinus Lahama and his son caught an ancient-looking fish in the waters off North Sulawesi. They took the 4.3-foot-long, 112-pound creature home and kept it there until a neighbor told them that it was a rare species, prompting the pair to return it to the sea. Unfortunately, the fish died after spending 17 hours in a quarantine pool. It was identified as a coelacanth, a prehistoric species that first appeared on the fossil record around 350 million years ago, and that scientists long believed went extinct along with the dinosaurs around 65 million years ago. This belief was turned on its head in 1938, when a living specimen was discovered off the eastern coast of South Africa. Today, there are only two known coelacanth species, and both can live for 60 years or more. They can grow over 2 meters long and weigh around 90 kilograms. The fish that Lahama caught was only the second coelacanth to be captured in Asia. The first was caught in 1998, also off the North Sulawesi coast. Scientists were perplexed by this and by the fact that Lahama's catch survived for 17 hours, since it's commonly understood that coelacanths can only survive for up to two hours outside their habitat. But it's not surprising that there's a lot we don't know about these fish, considering the fact that their existence was unknown to us until relatively recently. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite fish? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!